I also have another question, uh, Jorge, which I would like to ask you. Yeah. Is um, you know how do you think that this agreement, which we have now uh, put in place, will make us stronger? Will make ISDI stronger? And how it will impact the LATAM region? Because we have stated that we're going to focus on the LATAM market uh, to start off with. Yeah, and, and, and this is a super good point, Viv. Um, I mean, we have been doing this uh, Salesforce-related training for the last uh, three, four years. Uh, again, K2 University is, is incredibly good at the recruitment and, 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 and the training. And we have been doing this training on digital skills for the last 12 years, specifically the three, four last years uh, for Salesforce in this easy CRM brand. So in our case, we are correctly covering the MIA region. Uh, we are doing, again, because of COVID, uh, some online training. But the Latin American region is something that uh, we were struggling to, to tackle in the sense that we are working in Mexico as the official training provider. You are working in, in Brazil as the official training provider. But there is a massive uh, region to cover. And we have learned a lot in our past years. And I think the idea here is to uh, go together to make things faster, not to uh, go through the same mistakes uh, and to go better to the different Salesforce countries because the needs there are even uh, bigger than in the rest of the regions. Again, because the region is, I think, the region where Salesforce is growing faster. Uh, so clients are starting to adapt uh, the Salesforce technology. And I think the region is perfect to do this creative joining forces and working together with the experience, experience that we have in, in the previous year. So I think we will do an incredible job helping the ecosystem there in, in the next years with this, with this uh, alliance. Um, I couldn't agree more to that. 